Hey there, Rubber Dub Subs, it's Black Metal Werewolf making a brand new video for you this week. And this week's video is another opening of the Metalhead Box. The fine folks over at the Metalhead Box were nice enough to send me another one for the month of March. And I'm quite excited because this is uh, their special Decibel Tour uh, exclusive box. They got in goods with the folks at uh, Decibel Magazine and are putting together a cool little box. So I'm really excited to open this, and if you ordered it, I'm sure you are excited to get your hands on yours. So let's open this bitch up and see all the cool shit that comes inside. Okay, so first thing up, we have a t-shirt. Let's unravel this and show you guys what it is. So we got some pretty snazzy artwork on the front there. And on the back we have the bands that are on tour right now. So we got Creator, Obituary, Midnight, and Horrendous. And I believe this is an exclusive shirt, so if uh, you didn't get the metal bo Metalhead box, unfortunately you can't get the shirt anywhere else. But that is a really cool shirt, and it's very soft too. It feels like a bit higher quality than some of the other shirts that have come in the uh, Metalhead box. So that's a uh, really cool, very nice shirt. Up next, we have the uh, little card thing that tells you what's in the box, whatever. Uh... What the hell are these things? Oh, okay, so these look like window uh, decals. Little things you can throw on your window. Um, these are pretty cool. I'm just a little disappointed that they sent two of the same ones. I suppose if I wanted to put the same thing on two different glass surfaces, but uh, I do think they could have put uh, two different ones in. Uh, not that it's not cool, it's just that uh, why send two of the same thing, right? Whatever. Up next, looks like we have a couple of CDs. So we have Obituary, 10,000 Ways to Die. It's a live uh, CD from the North American Tour, uh, February and March of 2016. Uh, looks like they have quite a bit of uh, material on here, a lot of fan favorite songs. And a lot of the songs are uh, recorded in different cities. So that's really cool that they uh, decided to give a live CD with that. The next one we have here is Creator Dying Alive. The three disc deluxe version, two live CDs and one DVD set. So it's clear that they're going for, uh, like, since it's a decibel tour magazine, right? They uh, want to capture the feeling of uh, these bands live, so they gave the live CDs. So uh, if they're not going to a city near you, or if you don't have a chance to get a ticket or something, you can at least get you know the next best thing of a live CD, which is pretty sweet. And a nice little touch instead of just uh, throwing in a random assortment, they're giving you the bands on tour live sets. So that's that's pretty nice. Next, we have the usual little things that come in the box, so let's see what we have this time. Okay, it looks like we have a promo for the tour with that cool artwork, and it looks like the list of the dates on the back, so that's pretty sweet. Uh, we also have a button here with that artwork. Cool, that's something to throw on my vest. Uh, we got a new patch here, Choosing Death. I'm pretty sure that's a book about like death metal and shit. Uh, I don't have it, but I, I know I've seen it before, I just don't have it myself. So it's cool that I threw a patch in of that, because that doesn't seem like something you would get anywhere else. And finally, we have... Oh, the, uh, the Decibel Magazine. Very fitting for the Decibel Magazine box. So this will be an interesting read. Uh, it's nice that they put a Decibel Magazine in there. Very cool. And it looks like we're down to the final things in the box. Let's see what we got here. Some pretty big-ass pieces of paper. Okay, we got some posters. So we got a Midnight poster, something that I can't imagine a lot of people having unless they got this box. And finally, we have a horrendous poster. That's some really sick artwork. I like that. That's very badass. I'll have to find a place on my walls to hang that. I don't know where, but I will find a place. So overall, with this month's box, uh, I'm a little iffy on it. Uh, in comparison to last month's box, I'm a little disappointed. And yes, my fat-ass cat is now in the empty box. Uh, so before uh, I got distracted by my fat-ass cat there, uh, as I was saying, I'm just a little iffy on the uh, this month's Metalhead box. It's not that there's anything in there that I like absolutely hated. It's because I enjoyed everything that came in it. I'm just a little confused with some of their choices. Uh, for example, this box only came with two CDs, whereas the last one came with four. Now, not that there's anything wrong with only getting two CDs, I just kind of thought it was weird because it's advertising the Decibel Tour, which is four bands right now, uh, Obituary, Creator, Midnight, and uh, Horrendous. 
So how come only Obituary and Creator are being featured in the box? How come Midnight and Horrendous aren't being featured in there? I thought that'd be really cool because uh, those are some kind of low bands that not a lot of people know about. So if they would have been featured in the box, it would have gave them a bit more pl publicity. Uh, I just thought it was weird that for some reason those two bands didn't really get featured. I understand Creator and Obituary are much bigger, well-known bands, but I think that the whole tour should have been noticed instead of just two major bands. Uh, obviously, they did get posters, but uh, you know you can't listen to a poster. You don't really get a feel for a band from just a poster. Another thing I thought was kind of weird was the uh, uh, window decals. Once again, not that it's not cool and that I don't like it. It just, why did they send me two of the exact same thing? It just seems kind of redundant to get two of the exact same thing. Like that sentence, saying two of the exact same thing twice is redundant. Anyway, uh, overall, if I would have uh, paid money for it, I don't think I would have been like disappointed because I do feel that it... Uh, came together uh, at the price range it, they sold it as. It's just, I think it was a bit of a step down from last month's box. Once again, not that it's a that big of a deal because uh, the way I figured, as long as you get your money's worth, you shouldn't complain. I just uh, wanted to, you know, voice my opinion. I'm like, it's something I thought of and I couldn't really let it go. I, I just thought I'd voice my opinion on that. So uh, overall, once again, I want to thank the uh, fine folks over at the Metalhead Box for sending me another one to do an unboxing video for you guys. Uh, I hope you guys uh, get yours soon, and uh, so you can check it out, and I hope you guys enjoy all the cool stuff that comes in it. If you want to subscribe to the Metalhead Box, I'll be putting a link to their website in my description. So, like my past videos, I either do an album recommendation or an album warning, and I'm happy to do another recommendation. It is the new Wolfheart album. I'm not going to attempt to pronounce the name of the album because it's clearly not in English. T-Y-H-J-Y-Y-S. Those sounds to me do not add up to a word, but uh, I think they're, I want to say they're Swedish, but I could be wrong. Anyway, it's a very good band. If you've never listened to Wolfheart before, definitely check it out. This is a solid album through and through. Definitely check it out. So that's it for today's video. If you like what you saw, don't forget to like and subscribe and leave me a comment letting me know what you thought of today's video. And while you're at it, why don't you check out some of my past videos as well. If you want to keep up with me on a more daily basis, you can follow me on Instagram. I'll be putting my Instagram name in the bottom. And you can follow me on Facebook now, too, if you prefer that. I'll be putting a link to my Facebook page in the description. Uh, if you want to subscribe to the Metalhead Box, I'll be leaving a link to their website and their Facebook page in my description. So if you want to get in on the April Box, I think you definitely should. If you want to write me a letter or something, I have a P.O. Box open now. So I'll be putting a P uh, my P.O. Box in the description also. So overall, thank you very much for watching, guys. And stay brutal.